Hello everyone, this is Don the Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Thor Love and Thunder King, King Valkyrie. Uh, so let's go over to packaging here. So we get the Marvel Legends logo here on the top, Thor Love and Thunder uh, logo here in the bottom, King Valkyrie. Here is the side art of King Valkyrie there. Here is the back with that same artwork. If you guys want to pause and read that description, you can. Uh, Marvel Legends logo here in the right corner. And for this way, we are building Korg. Uh, in this way, we have um, Armored Thor with the golden blue armor, Jane Foster Thor, Court of God Butcher, which we already did, doing King Valkyrie right now, we already did Ravager Thor, we already did Star-Lord, and we already did Teen Groot, so, and then here's the other side art there, here is the top with the Broken Hammer logo there, and then here is the bottom with the DCPI, but besides that, let's crack her open. And here is King Valkyrie out of the package here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we got Korg's weapon, which we'll go over once we build him. And we also got Korg's head, which we'll also go over once we build him as well. And then here we got King Valkyrie's sword, which is with that really nice, like, really reflective, like, blue teal color for the blade. And it has a nice, like, sculpt on, the, on it too, which is really cool. Very pointy. I think it gets more gray when it gets to the point too, which is pretty cool. And you got this gray, like, wing-looking hilt with this white handle. And then this, like, gray circle piece here, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, really cool blade. And then that's all we got for accessories. So, here is King Valkyrie up close. The head sculpt looks, like, insanely, like, close to... It, it basically looks like her. Um, Tessa Thompson, the actress for Valkyrie, I believe. Um... But yeah, you got like the dreads, you got some blue hair in there too, which is really cool. Very long and they're very like soft, except for in the middle there. But you get these strands, they kind of come out a little bit. And also in the other side here. But yeah, you get like the red lipstick there. Get the brown eyes. Uh, it looks like eyeshadow. Um, but yeah, nailed it on the head sculpt. And then the outfit is amazing. I really like the pearly white like paint that they use for this figure a lot. And you got like these gray ML gray circle pieces here, like Asgardians would kind of wear with their armor. You get this black detailing there. And you got the gray scales for the skirt piece here. And then you get like these. I don't know what you call these. These are, like like straps here for like the thigh area here. And it looks like it has like buttons around them that are painted silver. And you got this, I think this is the Valkyrie symbol. I don't remember, but you got that too. And then you got this like really like shiny black here for the pants. And then more like the buckle pieces for the pants. You got like this blade here, uh, hidden ankle blade here, but you can't take it off. It's just in there. You can't take it out. And you get to the boots, you get some silver for the detailing around that, which is really cool. And also on the on the back side or front side of the feet there for the heels, you got some silver there for the detailing. And then you got the blue cape where it just kind of curves up. And then you got the sleeveless arms here. And you got pinless double jointed elbows, which is awesome. Especially, I think this is... I think this is one of the, I think this is a second or third female figure with double jointed elbows. And this one's pinless too. And you got the black fingerless gloves here that go all the way up to the uh, wrist, go past the wrist I mean. This one's more of a relaxed hand here. And then this one's a sword holding hand and it has a buckle on this one actually. Whereas the other one doesn't, oh wait, never mind it does. So yeah, it has a buckle on that one actually. Um, but yeah, that's all we got for looks. So let's go over the articulation. So yeah, she has a double jointed, double ball jointed head that goes down that far, goes up that far. The hair gets in the way, left and right movement, some head pivoting there. Shoulders move out that far, which is insane. 360 rotation there, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, like I said, wrist hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. This one wants to move vertical. This one moves horizontally. So it goes side to side, actually. So that's nice. That's the sword holding hand. 
and then you got a ball joint at the diaphragm that goes down that far, backwards that far, side to side movement, some twisting. Legs kick out that far, forward that far, backwards a little bit, thigh cut, double joint the knees, and then ankles hinge down that far, up that far, nice angle pivot. So yeah, that is King Valkyrie for you. I really love this figure. It's awesome. Nailed the head sculpt. The, the outfit is amazing. The blade looks really cool. Um, and you got the double pinless, double jointed elbows and knees are also pinless. Uh, articulation is actually really good on this figure. Um, besides the head, because of the hair, obviously you can't look up and move around too much in it. But besides that, I think it's a really cool figure. I recommend you get him at Gitter. Um, but yeah, that's all I really got for this figure. Like I said, I really love this figure. It's, they nailed it with this one. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Um, if you guys want to help support me on my other accounts like TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram, go ahead and check out my link tree in my description. Uh, I also do brief reviews on these figures. If you want to check those out, if you just want to get straight to the point with these figures. But yeah, that's all I really got. So go ahead and check those out if you can. And that will be very much appreciated. But yeah, that's all I got. So thanks for watching.